Alors, bonsoir. So, good evening, everyone, and welcome to this regular public meeting of uh, Diep City Council this uh, September 11, 2017. Without further ado, we go forward with the uh, opening work. Dear colleagues, may we have the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can change, and the wisdom to know the difference. So welcome to everyone. Just a reminder that the month of October from the first week is the Wellness Week of New Brunswick. I know that uh, physical and mental health is important for everyone, so this is all inclusive. So may we have a thought for our health, others' health for the next couple of weeks, and as a matter of fact, for the whole year. This is just the week to uh, recognize it. So we have quorum. Declarations of conflict of interests, none. Adoption of the agenda, motion moved by Councillor Leblanc, seconded by Councillor Godet. Hey, you're playing with my mind this evening. Seconded by Councillor Godet. Question concerning the agenda. Yes, I have a petition here. So I would like to add a point an item, 7.3. 7.3 that will be concerning the petition. Normally, this would require unanimous vote from uh, council. So, Seconded by Councillor Cormier. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Contrary minded nay. So it's uh, 7.3 is added to the agenda petition. Now that we've added this, are we ready to adopt the agenda as it is presented? Are there any questions or other questions? So all those in favor signify by saying aye. Contrary minded nay. The agenda is adopted. And without further ado, we go to item seven, presentations and inquiries and petitions. So 7.1, inquiries by council members to Kodiak Regional RCMP. So welcome back. I hope that you've had a good summer. Excellent. Yeah, it was uh, quiet but busy. Questions from uh, members of council to the uh, RCMC, RCMP. Councillor Cormier, it's not a question, it's a comment. Thank you for uh, patrolling in the uh, marsh. Uh, we're told that uh, cars travel quickly, so I'm happy to see that uh, there are quite a few patrol cars. Any other comments, uh, questions? No? So if you have any comments, now is the time. If not, uh, we'll wish you a good evening. You're welcome to stay. Oh, Councillor Blanc, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. A comment to the member of the RCMP. You mentioned that concerning visibility, you are going to make an effort. And I should say that personally, I've noticed a great effort from the members of RCMP and my subdivision for the last 15 years. It's the uh, probably the first time that I see so much uh, RCMP. Uh, so, so I'd like to congratulate you for this uh, commitment on uh, visibility uh, in communities other than uh, in the more important areas. Uh, so for that, I congratulate you. Thank you very much. And uh, I will pass those comments along. Uh, it's nice to hear positive comments. And even last time, Mr. Bido, you'd uh, made uh, 
positive comments. Uh, it's always pleasant to hear uh, positive comments. Uh, okay, but we have to say that if there are negative things, we also want to hear those. Well, you've had uh, the flowers and uh, now you're not going to get the uh, pots that go with it. No, we don't like the pots, so thank you very much. I don't want to make a link between the, the pot and the pot, but uh, well, maybe next year we'll uh, talk about it. Uh, uh, nothing else? So now we go to item 7.2, the public hearing, permanent street closure, a portion of Benjamin Street. Who is going to be talking to us about it? So, Mr. Leblanc. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, members of uh, council. This is the uh, public hearing for the permanent closure of a portion of Benjamin Street, which is uh, located in the industrial park of Dieppe. So the location is on Benjamin Street. It's a portion of Benjamin Street and it's identified at, as parcel A. So we see here, Benjamin Street is the street that connects to that uh, connects Babin Street with uh, 15, uh, Road 15, and we want to close a portion that is uh, marked in red on the uh, screen. Here we see the same location with an aerial photo. So we see the highway at the top of the image and the existing street and the roundabout which is uh, there as you see that's out of the black lines but it's the project is to turn it into a public street separated so the 14th of august uh, the public audience public hearing date was set tonight is the uh, public hearing and later on There'll be the first and the second reading of the bylaw. And the next meeting of the uh, council on the 25th of September, the council will be presented with the uh, bylaw for the third reading. So that's all I have to say. I'm available for questions. Were there any complaints or did we receive any letters? That's what I wanted to add. We have not received any letters, any comments, uh, no comments, no complaints uh, received. Would there be somebody in the uh, hall who would be present here for those reasons, complaints or concerns, or comments? Okay, thank you. Questions from members of council? I think that uh, everybody is aware of the uh, topic or the item. No? So thank you very much. So we continue with item 7.3 petition mr Alain, which is going to talk to us about this petition thank you mr mayor i have a petition here that was uh, sent this afternoon by madame amy van buskard a resident of melanson street the petition says that there are requesting people to mobilize for a new sidewalk on Milan Street for the uh, school children who are walking to the new school. We can see that uh, there's a, a path, there's a sidewalk on Melanson Street on the north side of uh, the street from Boulevard to De Moulin. And these people here are looking for the sidewalk to continue from Du Moulin to Fox Creek. So there are 81 uh, signatures on Malin Century, Du Montlon, Du Moulin, Fox Creek, Du Portage, and uh, Timon, who signed this petition. Also, I should recognize Councillor Leblanc from Ward 5, 
Monsieur Roger, who in April had participated in the Parents Committee uh, meeting and the uh, Department of Education. So I'll send it to you by email. But I think that one, the petition is a it's part of the democratic act, and it's something that's respected. Uh, our colleague, Monsieur Thibodeau, has uh, said it before that uh, school zones are probably the most important zones of our municipality. And I do believe that this should be taken very seriously. I hope that the uh, city manager uh, will send a letter to the Department of Health and to the Parents Committee uh, to say that we have received a petition and that maybe we could hold another uh, information session for the population. I just talked to the uh, principal of the uh, the school, uh, they said that uh, it probably could open uh, in January, uh, three to five, and then in the one from uh, six to eight will open in uh, January. So this is a petition by uh, residents who are concerned uh, for the situ about the situation. So there will be a follow-up on this question. Uh, Mr. Mayor, if you could uh, leave the petition with us, uh, we'll have an eye, we'll have a look at it. Item eight on the agenda, questions by members of the public. No questions, so we continue with the uh, adoption of uh, minutes of the regular council meeting held on August 14th, 2017. Moved by Councillor Cormier, seconded by Councillor Godet to approve the minutes of uh, that meeting of the 14th of August. Questions by members of council? No questions. All those in favor of the resolution signify by saying aye, contrary minded nay. So the minutes of the 14th of August have been adopted. Uh, item 10, motions, uh, memorandums and nominations. 10.1, expansion Dieppe, 10.1.1. Mr. Melanson. Thank you very much, members of council. So tonight, uh, your first uh, job is to ratify a agreement uh, with uh, Three Plus and uh, Dieppe Moncton Riverview. We're trying to work at the uh, roles, responsibilities of uh, Three Plus, the uh, economic agency of the uh, region. So we have this, and there will be a press release. Uh, tomorrow uh, mentioning the responsibilities of all this for all the three me for all the media so it's for your approval tonight um, so for the resolution madame arsenault please thank you mr mayor that council approve the service level agreement between the municipalities of dieppe moncton and riverview and three plus corporation inc pertaining to regional economic development services offered to said three communities. So moved, Mr. Mayor. Moved by Councillor Arsenault, seconded by Councillor Cormier on the question. No question. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Contrary-minded, nay. So item 10.1.1 has been ratified, adopted. And we are happy to mention the presence of the chairman of the board of 3 Plus, Mr. Lockyer, and the uh, manager, Mr. Ooh, I have a blank, Mr. Mura. Oops, so I don't recognize you without your uh, bagpipes. <laughs> And also one of the uh, representatives of the city of Dieppe at the uh, board, Mr. Duguet. Good evening. Thank you for your presence. And once again, you're welcome to uh, stay for the next uh, 20 or 30 items that we have on the agenda tonight. But we do understand and we will not be offended if you do leave. 10.2.1, request for financing, New Brunswick Municipal Finance Corporation, Mr. Melasso. So, Mr. Mayor, here you are asked to uh, go see if you can have a, um, 
a loan of uh, nine million nine hundred nineteen nine hundred nineteen thousand. Uh, the debenture. We're going to look for the loan. The projects of this uh, for this loan is basically the uh, expansion of Dieppe, Fox Creek, uh, Babineau, two new ball fields. Uh, development of the uh, ice rink and uh, Champlain College. So these are all pro projects that total $9.9 .9 million and are on the budget that is as it was adopted in 2017. So if you need more details, we have the treasurer here if you have more questions. So for the resolution, Mr. Thibodeau, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, that uh, council authorize the city clerk the treasurer or the mayor to issue and sell to the New Brunswick Municipal Finance Corporation a municipality of Dieppe debenture in the principal amount of $9,919,000 on such terms and conditions as are recommended by the New Brunswick Municipal Finance Corporation and further authorize that the municipality of Dieppe agree to you to issue post-dated checks payable to the New Brunswick Municipal Finance Corporation as and when they are requested in payment of principal and interest charges of the above debentured. Moved and seconded. On the question, all those in favor of the resolution, signify by saying aye, contrary-minded, nay. T carried as presented. 10.2.2, Mr. Melanson, this is a request uh, for uh, refinancing. The benches that have been authorized 10 years ago um, for, they have to be renewed for an amount of five million two hundred fifty-four thousand. A couple of projects for the downtown area, capital, sewer, water. So it's to authorize the refinancing of these debentures for a period of uh, uh, five to fifteen years. Uh, thank you very much for the resolution, Monsieur Brigo. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The council authorizes the city clerk, the treasurer, or the mayor to issue and sell to the New Brunswick Municipal Finance Corporation a municipality of Dieppe debenture in the principal amount of $5,254,000 on such terms and conditions as are recommended by the New Brunswick Municipal Finance Corporation and further authorize that the municipality of Dieppe agree to issue post-dated checks payable to the New Brunswick Municipal Finance Corporation as and when they are requested in payment of principal and interest charges on the above debenture. So moved. Moved by Councillor Brideau, seconded by Madame Arsenault on the question. Five million two hundred five fifty four thousand. Yeah, just a detail. I said five to fifteen years. No, it's correction. It's five to ten years. On the question, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Oh, sorry. Question, Monsieur Leblanc. Just a clarification. The bencher, is there an interest rate that is established, or is it just? afterwards generally speaking the interest should be lower than 10 years ago but we'll only know the interest rate when the the benches will be issued around the november thank you next item no sorry we haven't finished the vote uh, there were questions so all those in favor signify by saying aye contrary minded nay so carried 10.3.1 uh, fire appointment director of municipal emergency measures organization so here our services are being redefined and we're defining our emergency measures plan so the idea is to appoint a director so we figure that uh, Conrad Landry as uh, it is uh, indicated in the uh, policies the council has to adopt it. Councillor Cormier. Pursuant to the Emergency Measures Act that council appoint Conrad Landry as Director of Municipal Emergency Measures Organization, that said appointment remain in effect as long as said person is employed with the municipality or until the appointment is limited or revoked by council. So moved. Moved by Councillor Cormier. 
Seconded by Councillor Thibodeau on the question. All those in favor of the resolution signify by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. Carried as presented. 10.3.2. So, signing authority, agreement, fire services with Greater Moncton International Airport, uh, Leblanc. So, our fire services has a responsibility of offering these services. So, it specifies the responsibilities and the role of everyone, but still, we are the first respondents. Uh, so, this is a question to uh, basically render official the agreement that we have. For the reading, Councillor Arsenault. The Council authorized the municipal signing officers to sign an agreement with the Greater Moncton International Airport Authority, Inc., regarding mutual aid in emergency situations. So moved. Moved by Councillor Arsenault, seconded by Councillor Alain on the question. All those in favor of the resolution, signify by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. Uh, carried as presented. Next item, 10.3.3. Uh, signing authority, once again. Uh, agreement, communications building. We have a building in Riverview that we share with the municipality. So this agreement stipulates the responsibilities of uh, each one. It's for the signature for the renewal. For the reading, Councillor Leblanc. Thank you, Mr. May. The Council authorized the municipal signing officers to sign an agreement with the Town of Riverview for the sharing of the communication building situated at 97 Runnymede Road in Riverview. So moved. Uh, moved by Councillor Leblanc, seconded by Councillor Thibodeau on the question. Question, Mr. Alain. Concerning the costs, Uh, I don't see anything concerning costs. It said River, it, it's still noted somewhere that uh, Riverview has its responsibility, we have our responsibilities, and there's a sharing of costs. No, the document indicates that the city is responsible for the electricity bill, the alarm system, the building and the maintenance of the communication antenna. Is there amount of money attached to that? It could vary, I guess. Yeah, thank you. Yes, so it's the cost of electricity uh, monthly. It's been years that we've been paying the bill and the, so it's, it was just a question of saying who is the responsible. I mean, if the antenna breaks, it's our responsibility. If something in the building breaks, it's the Riverview that. Uh, so it's the Riverview that takes care of the rent and all that. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it would be a good idea to send a, a memo so that we can. I mean, identifying the different costs of that uh, for uh, information for councillors. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Alain, Mr. Landry. So, for the resolution, all those in favor of the resolution say aye by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. The resolution is carried as presented. Engineering 10.4.1. So, we've been mentioning it for a couple of reasons, a couple of meetings. Uh, the work is uh, progressing. Uh, Harrisville, Dieppe, uh, the bridge, uh, the work has uh, started. The province is going to be uh, building a uh, ramp to come on to industrial. So at the same time, we are uh, reworking industrial uh, streets so that uh, it will fit in with the new ramp. So this is to retain the services of EXP uh, services for an amount of $77,133 plus HST. And we're taking the same service for the same that the uh, for the, um, we're hiring the same firm that the province uh, is, has hired, so that there will be no problem. So, for the reading of the resolution, Councillor Godet. 
The council authorized EXP Services Inc. to undertake the engineering services for the project entitled Street Reconstruction Industrial at the estimated cost of $77,133 plus HST in accordance with the proposal dated July 27, 2017 and further authorized that this expenditure be defrayed from account number 3-3-35-58-7601. General Capital Budget Asphalt Management. So moved. Moved by Councillor Godet, seconded by Councillor Arsenault on the question. No question? Oh, Councillor Godet. I just wanted to know. When uh, will we be able to use that ramp? Uh, we'll be able to use it during the construction period? Madam Spencer, good evening. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. What the province has told us is they want to finish the work on the ramp as soon as possible in 2018, but there's a culvert to install, so that work can only be done at the beginning of June. Our street section won't be finished, but we'll still be able to use Babin and to go into Champlain, but they told us that it was their intention to finish it as soon as possible in 2018. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Monsieur Alain, question. On the drawing, Madam Spencer, I can only see a ramp. It's not a, is, is there not going to be an exit ramp also? Monsieur Melanson? For now, what is uh, foreseen or what is uh, planned is uh, one ramp. The uh, land can accommodate uh, the entry and the exit ramp. Uh, we're still working on one ramp. We're looking at uh, what uh, kind of money we have for uh, the project. But for the time being, it's just one ramp. Well, at one point, we had talked about uh, two lamps. Yeah, well, the land has been purchased for both uh, ramps. Thank you. No other questions? All those in favor of the resolution signify by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. Carried as presented. Now, 10.5.1, appointment to Dieppe Arts and Culture Center. Thank you. That uh, council appoint José Turgeon Roy as a municipal council's appointee on the board of directors of the Dieppe Arts and Culture Center for a term ending in September 11th, 2018. 20. So moved. Uh, moved by Councillor Alain. Seconded by Councillor Brideau. On the question, all those in favor of this appointment signify by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. The resolution is uh, carried. And we thank Madame Turgeon Roy for her wish to get involved in the community as uh, she's done previously in different departments. Planning and development. 10.6.1 recommendation at the uh, tender plan, Gestion Gilles Gauguin. The uh, Planning Advisory Committee is uh, recommending acceptance. There will be a path that is being used for the school at this uh, place so for, for approval tonight. So for the reading of the resolution, Councillor Cormier. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That council accept the recommendation that the Planning Advisory Committee made on August 16th, 2017, and which relates to the acceptance of the tentative plan of the Gestion Gilles Gauguin Inc. subdivision, dated August 2nd, 2017, and which provides for the location of the lands for public purposes and the municipal services easement. So moved. Moved by Councillor Cormier. Seconded by Councillor Brideau on the question. No question. So all those in favor, so by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. Carried as presented. 10.6.2. Uh, amendment requests rezoning agreement. So here's a request uh, for a change to uh, zoning on concerning materials that are on the building. 
So this is uh, to set a date for the public hearing, 10th of October, 2017, at uh, 7 p.m. in City Hall. Also, we're requesting the uh, Parallel Planning Advisory Committee to give us their recommendation. So this is to, start, to set the date of the public hearing. Reading of the resolution, Monsieur Thibodeau. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Further, the zoning bylaw 96-48-57, registered at the registry office on May 30th, 2017, under number 23902183, relating to the land identified under PIDs 70439815704274897044333004 and situated on Dieu Boulevard, the Council schedule a public hearing on October 10, 2017, at 7 p.m. at the Dieppe City Hall to hear the objections relating to the request submitted by the developer to repeal one of the conditions established under the said zoning bylaw and that council requests the written views of the Planning Advisory Committee relating to the said zoning project. Moved by Councillor Thibodeau, seconded by Councillor Leblanc on the question. No questions? So all those in favor of the resolution signify by saying aye. Contrary-minded, nay. Carried. Point two. Resolution is adopted as presented. 10.7 Human Resources. Mr. Bronson, here with the health and safety, there's a small correction, but the most important change is that we are asking the contractor that to receive a certificate from uh, New Brunswick uh, Workplace, New Brunswick. We are protecting the interest of the municipality where a contractor is doing some work for us. It's not registered. The city of Dieppe is responsible for it. So we are, through our policy, they have to register without exception. So it's mostly the changes that are being brought to the policy. For the reading of the resolution, Mr. Arsenal. Thank you, Your Worship, that Council accept the policy S-1 entitled Workplace Health and Safety adopted on February 27, 2012, be replaced by Policy S-1, bracket 2017, entitled Workplace Health and Safety SO Work. Moved by Councillor Arsenal, seconded by Councillor Anna. On the question. No question. All those in favor of the resolution say aye. Contrary reminded, nay. Carried as presented. Now, item 11, municipal bylaws. 11.1, bylaw Z 9 amending the city of the municipal development plan, bylaw. Gas station on Champlain Street, 11.1.1, .1, reading in its uh, entirety. Mr. Leblanc, go ahead. Bylaw Z-9-5, bylaw amending the bylaw concerning the municipal uh, bylaw in its entirety pursuant to the power given by NB Chapter 17, the Municipal Council of Dieppe. It is as follows, a bylaw, the Municipal Development Plan, namely Z-9, adopted on November 15th and filed at the Westmoreland under number 35537340 on December 15, 2015, amended as follows. Appendix 1, the soil map is mentioned in the plan, in the municipal development plan, is amended by the map that is uh, on Appendix A-1-5, I so move your worship in its entirety. Moved by Councillor Leblanc, seconded by Councillor Arsenal. It was in favor of uh, this uh, bylaw, this amendment, to say aye, because we're reminded. So the amendment is uh, carried as presented. Now, Third and last reading by title only, Mr. Leblanc. 
Your Worship, Bala Z-9-5, amending the City of Dieppe Municipal Development Plan, Bala. I so move with third reading by title only. Moved by Councilor Liberal, seconded by Councilor Arsenal. Third and final reading. A change to bylaw 9 dash, no, Z dash 9 dash 5. All those in favor say aye. Country reminded me. Carry this uh, amendment. It's carried in third and final reading. Now, bylaw 10 uh, 5, amending the city of the absorbing bylaw for that same gas station. 11.2.1, reading in its entirety, no, 11 point, sorry, 0.2.1, reading in its entirety, Mr. Colmier, thank you, worship, uh, bylaw Z-10, that five bylaw, to amend the city of the yep, bylaw, pursuant to the power conferred by the Planning Act. NB 1973 Chapter C-12, the DAP Municipal Council says follows. The DAP uh, bylaw, namely dash, dash 5, adopted on December 15, 2015, and filed at the what's more in office on the number 35537357 on December 15, 2015, is amended as follows. Appended A, entitled a City of the App Map, and described within the planning bylaw, is described in the adjoining map, and I so move in its entirety. Moved by Councillor Colby, seconded by Councillor Mr. Arsenal. All those in favor say aye. Country reminded nay. Therefore, the amendment is adopted in its entirety. Now for the third final reading, by title only, Mr. Cormier. Bylaw number Z-10-5, uh, amending the city of the zoning bylaw. I move third reading by title only. Thank you, Mr. Cormier, seconded by Mr. Sarris. No, on the question. No question, all those in favor say aye of this uh, amendment to by the Z-10-5, the high country reminded me. Thank you, Mr. Libra. And therefore, the planning, uh, the bylaw is amended in third reading by title. There's four or five more. Patience, please, everybody, please. For uh, bylaw Z9 2017, Re uh, reading, third reading, no, reading by title and uh, section number only. Who feels uh, strong enough? I don't see too many people raise their hand. Mr. Thibodeau, please. Mr. Thibodeau, thank you, Worship. Z-1720-17, the Municipal Planning Bylaw, pursuant to the power that is conferred by the law. And it's be Chapter 12, and 12 the uh, Municipal Council says, states as follows, the bylaw entitled the Municipal Development Plan of uh, the app Z-9, Entitled the Municipal Bylaw of the City of Moncton and file at the Westmoreland County Office under number 355340 on December 15, 2015, is uh, deleted. The, the provision is uh, the legislative provisions and the uh, attachments are part and parcel of this change. You probably move. I so move, uh, Your Worship. Yes, moved by Councillor Thibodeau and seconded by Councillor Gadet on the question. No question of those in favor of this uh, change, say aye. And those who are against, by nay. So, Z9 
2017 is adopted by the reading. Now we'll proceed with third reading entitled Mr. Thibodeau. By law, Z9-2017, reading on the Municipal Development Plan. I so move third reading, title only. Thank you. Move by the third and final reading by Councilor Thibodeau. By Councilor Gadet. On the question. No question. All those in favor say aye. Of this amendment say aye. Contrary reminded nay. Z9-2017 is adopted in third reading, last reading. Zoning uh, bylaw Z10-2017, uh, reading by title and uh, article number. Councilor Leblanc. Thank you, Worship. Uh, bylaw Z10-2017, pursuant to the power conferred by the Planning Act, RNB 1973, Chapter Dash 12, the Municipal Council, in as follows. Uh, by law, this by law entitled the uh, uh, amendment by law second, the legislative power, and are part of the present uh, by law as a move in its entirety and uh, by article only. Thank you. There's no seconds. Those in favor say aye. Contrary minded nay. This bylaw is adopted in its entirety. We proceed with the third reading by title only. Bylaw Z uh, 10 2017. I move it third reading by title only. Thank you. And second, Mr. Sashno, on a question. No question. All those in favor say aye. And reminded nay. Z10 is adopted in third and final reading. Bylaw Z24 relating to the installation of sanitary sewer system uh, along a portion, uh, a portion of Bourke and Charlottesville Road uh, in its entirety. Mr. Goodett. Uh, entirety. By title and article only. By law Z24, he re, uh, relating to the installation of sanitary sewer system along a portion of Burke and Charlottesville Road, pursuant to the power conferred by the Municipal Theat Act. Uh, The Municipal Council of the EAP duly assemble and acts as follows. Do I read now one definition, one definition, number two, a recovery cost from a loyalty, three, calculation of usage loyalty, four, payment, five, uh, six, uh, the right to interrupt the distribution of water. I so move second reading in its entirety. I move. Moved by Councillor Goodet. Seconded by Councillor Arsenal on a question. All those in favor of this amendment say aye. It's not an amendment, it's bylaw Z24. Those who are in favor of uh, bylaw Z24 say I can remind it, nay. So, bylaw Z24 is adopted. Uh, reading by title and article only. We'll proceed with third and final reading by title only, Mr. Cadet. Here we worship bylaw Z24. Relating to the installation of sanitary sewer system along a portion of Burke and Charlottesville Road. I move by title only. Move. Third reading. Move by Councilor Gaudet, seconded by Mr. Harris. No, no question. No question. All those in favor say aye. 
Could have reminded me. So Z. Sorry. Yes. Z24 is adopted in third reading by law 930-2017 dealing with the uh, traffic uh, by article only and title Ms. Arsno Q worship by law 9 bracket 30-2017 respecting traffic so the by law Respecting the traffic, the Council and Municipality of the App duly assemble adopt as follows. Uh, Article 8 is amended, paragraph 1, by the interpretation of what follows. After the paragraph, bracket 30, Article 8 is amended by the interpretation of what follows after the uh, paragraph 32. Article 8 is amended paragraph 1 by the deletion of paragraph 32.1 and is replacement by what follows. Article 8 is amended paragraph 1 by the injunction of what follows after the paragraph bracket 44. Article 9 is amended paragraph 6 uh, by the injunction of what follows after paragraph uh, A. Article 9 is amended, paragraph 6, uh, by the injection of what follows after paragraph D. Article 9 is amended, uh, paragraph 6, uh, by the deletion of what follows after paragraph F. I move its reading by title and article only. Thank you. Move by Councillor Arsenal, seconded by Councillor Brido on the question. All no question. All those in favor say aye. Could you reminded me by law 9 30 2017 respecting the traffic is adopted by reading and title only. We'll proceed to item 11.6.2 for uh, third reading title only. Mr. Arsenal, thank you. Bylaw 9, bracket 30-2017, an amendment, uh, a bylaw uh, amending the, respecting the traffic of the municipality of the app. So it's reading only, by title only. I move, uh, move by Councillor Ersno, seconded by Councillor Bredo, on the question. All those in favor of the resolution say aye. Could reminded me. So, by the 9, bracket 30 2017, is adopted in third and final reading. Now, for bylaw S 12 2017, respecting uh, outside fire by uh, title and uh, article only. Mr. Thank you, Your Worship. Bylaw S-12-2017, respecting the outside fires, number one, definition, two, administration, three, forbidden to open a fire without a permit or authorization, four, license, five, requ additional requirement, Six, uh, cancellation of permit, fine, and eight, deletion. I saw move, move by Councilor Tibaldo, seconded by Councilor Tibaldo on the question. No question, all those in favor say aye. Country reminded nay. So we uh, accept by reading my title and article only uh, by law. S12 2017 will proceed now to 11.7.2, third reading of this bylaw S12 by title only. Mr. Thibodeau. 
Your Worship. By law S12 2017, a bylaw respecting outside fires. I move by title only. Move by Councilor the Widow, second by Councilor the Blanc on the question. No question, all those in favor say aye. Could remind it, nay. So, by law S12 record 2017 is adopted in third and final reading by title only. 11.8. Bylaw C-23 at Rise in the City of Dieppe to permanently close a portion of Benjamin Street for first and second reading by title only. Mr. Goodett, thank you, Worship. Bylaw C-23 authorizing the City of Dieppe to permanently close the portion of Benjamin Street. Title only. Thank you. First and second reading. First reading. Move by Councilor Gaudet, second by Councilor Cormier. All those questions, no question. All those in favor say aye. Country reminded nay. Carried. Bylaw C23 is adopted the first reading. We'll proceed now. Second reading by title only, Mr. Gaudet. Thank you, Your Worship. Bylaw C. 23 authorizing the city of Dieppe to permanently close a portion of Benjamin Street. I so move in second reading. Move in second reading by Councilor Gaudet, seconded by Councilor Cormier. On the question. No question, all those in favor say aye. Contrary reminded nay. Carried as presented. Now we'll proceed to item 12, notice, uh, notion, notice of motion. No notice of motion tonight, no. 13 inquiries and announcement by members of the council. We will start with Mr. Ala. I know it's hard for you to be on the left, but <laughs> try it. I didn't say anything, your worship. You said it was what? Well said? Therefore, one thing, eh? This Sunday, until 1, 1.30, 1 o'clock, there's a Battle of Britain ceremony. The Association of Military Veterans of Dieppe are organized under Neil Ligemar. They're individuals. Oh, they get it hard, and all the people around it, this table support them. They've given so much for our country, for our town, for our city, sorry. It's uh, something the England War has uh, shown an important step in the Second World War in July 1940 until May of 1941. And uh, it's also a big uh, victory for the Allied. Definitely, we will commemorate uh, this award on this uh, coming Sunday at Lord Economy Park. Thank you, Mr. Snow. Thank you, Worship. I attended uh, many events this summer. I hope that everyone had a nice summer, a good summer. Last Sunday, I went to the Fairhaven Memorial Cemetery and there was a ceremony by mad mothers against uh, drunk drivers. It was very emotional and it was uh, a very nice ceremony. And there's a large monument by mad that is meant for those who died in the hands of someone who was uh, drunk. It was touching. It was a night ceremony I on August the 18th with other counselors I went in front of the for the raising of pride flag I was very proud to be there that also was a good ceremony it went well just one thing I'd like to mention is that I fully agree to put the pride the Acadian pride in evidence in the city of the app we are all or Major, most of us are Acadian, proud to be, and so am I. Our Acadian city could have 
could have available some paintings, some flag, Acadian flags that would be placed on Acadia Street or on the light post if someone could uh, do a study. I would appreciate it very much because I'm very proud to consider myself Acadian and I would like to see the Acadian flag be more visible in our Acadian city. Thank you. Thank you. It's hard to argue against that, Councillor Thibodeau. Thank you, Worship. Tonight we adopted the Municipal uh, Development Plan and there's one thing I didn't see in it. It's the resto, the uh, uh, food, uh, the malbof, it wouldn't be hard to define it. It would be difficult to apply it, but I was wondering if we could check to see if there's other municipalities who have a such a regulation. And then it's something we could probably uh, try to include in it. It's noted. Secondly, during my vacation, I went to Switzerland and I was in a resort center of approximately six square kilometers where there was no gas bar and no gas car. They were all electric vehicles, whether it was bus uh, vehicles, small train, simply to tell you that when we want, it can be done. Thank you, Your Worship. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Thibodeau. Councillor Brido. Your Worship, I have nothing uh, tonight. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Colmier. I'd like to wish a great school year to all the uh, students and to teaching staff, uh, all those who work with our youth. And I'd also like to uh, congratulate the airport for its uh, 20 years. And uh, I also joined Councillor Arsenault in uh, uh, our wish to have uh, some painting of the uh, crosswalks in the colors of Acadie, blue, white, red, and yellow. Thank you, Councillor Leblanc. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I think I hope you've all spent a great summer. And secondly, I would like to know if it would be possible. We've had so many questions, or I've heard so many questions and on the... Uh, updating of uh, Fox Creek Road. Where are we at? What is uh, left to do? And what are the deadlines? Madam Spencer, thank you, Mr. Mayor. For the Fox Creek, what I understand is the ducks piping are is over, so they're going to put gravel to rebuild the street, and then afterwards there'll be the asphalt. And as you know, there's a uh, path on the eastern side that's going to be built next to the side of uh, from Lamiro to Frenette. That is also going to be built. Unfortunately, I don't have the specific date of the end of work, but everything should be finished before before the snow, before winter, yeah, we hope that we're not going to get snow for at least a couple of weeks. And also, Mr. Mayor, if I may, a quick comment on what happened on Melanson Street. We met, concerning the petition, we met with engineering and uh, myself and the school and uh, Councillor Alain at the beginning of April. I don't remember the date. And they mentioned that maybe it would be brought back to the Parents uh, Council, CPAE. I was wondering if it was possible maybe to organize uh, an information session 
because I think there was confusion even at the time as to what the zone could uh, look like for the people who would be walking and for the cars. So, so if we could organize a, an update meeting for the people who might want to see what the project is, what it would look like, so that uh, the people walking there might f be able to feel comfortable uh, in knowing how things are going to be put so that when they walk to school. I know that there's a uh, roundabout, but there's uh, the expansion of Boulevard Dieppe. I think that there was confusion concerning uh, all those things, things, so it would be a good idea to have another meeting. If there are any parents that might want to see the project. Certainly, Mr. Mayor, we're going to plan a meeting. We'll be discussing with both councillors to set a date. And also, there's going to be the health network that is going to be set up also within that area, Fox Creek, Melanson, and beyond Dieppe, uh, Boulevard Dieppe and uh, Melanson. So uh, that meeting would be a good uh, information session for every, the, the, the agreements have been signed so we can start the work. There was also mention at the time that there might be a temporary path at the end of the street on the other side of Belfort. Yeah, there's a easement. I think that was a, a right of way that was uh, solved uh, during the summer, so we could share that information. Also, the process for budgets, because uh, unfortunately, the money was not set up for everything that is going to be requested, so we'll have to see what happens uh, in the future without committing, because uh, we have to consider all the different projects that we have for next year. Yeah, an agreement, just uh, an, 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 uh, a meeting just to talk about uh, uh, clarification. Thank you. Councillor Godet, I have a request for information concerning the pathways within the city. Sometimes in spring or summer, we wait for the uh, lines to be painted uh, on the streets. Uh, so I noticed that when they did the uh, Dieppe Boulevard this summer, they didn't use paint. They used some type of a paper strip and uh, within 24 hours, uh, the whole Boulevard Dieppe was finished. Is it something that we could use for the whole city? Is it something that's too expensive? Or, or is it because the asphalt was fresh? Uh, so we can't use that on the normal roadways? Uh, that's a, a question. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're right. We call that permanent markings that were installed, and you're also right in saying that uh, it's more easily applied on fresh asphalt. And as you probably noticed, that, that uh, it was following the uh, insulation of the asphalt. It could be set up on older asphalt, but their life expectancy is way lower. So generally speaking, we install that on our main roads. Champlain, last year, we installed that. We're going to be putting up some on uh, Amiro at the end of the project. So we put it down when we can. It's uh, supposed to last from between three to five years. Uh, uh, but in the meantime, it will be going back with the paint. Uh, so for the older roadways, uh, part of uh, Tomau, and there's a little bit of a yellow line somewhere or elsewhere, could it be used on older asphalt? The supplier says that yes, we can, but we noticed that practically speaking, they don't last. And so we couldn't justify the additional cost. So when we can have... Uh, we can get three to five years out of it, it's worth it, but under that, it's not worth it. The last point, uh, Mr. Mayor, I went to the uh, Centre de Launch. Uh, there was a request of uh, 2.5 million. Uh, it was a great event at the hotel. There were a lot of people. I'd like to encourage people to... Uh, participate in this uh, campaign, funding campaign. Uh, 
they do a lot of work in our community and in uh, the southeast region in general so give generously will be appreciated uh, united way uh, their needs are growing and so this uh, fundraising camping from united way is very important thank you mr godet i would just like to mention the participation of 27 people from the municipality who went to the 75th commemoration of the Dieppe raid in uh, France. I thank all the participants, but particularly our seven cadets from the Dieppe cadet unit. Like most of us uh, who were present at the uh, ceremonies, they were very active. They helped, they supported the whole organization over there in France. As always, it's a very uh, emotional event, and this is why we encourage people when they tell us that they go to France to uh, go around Dieppe in France uh, to see uh, and to learn what uh, happened on that 19th of August, 1942. So once again, thank you to all the participants of the, participants of the delegation. And uh, aside from that, uh, Hope everybody spent a nice summer. We have a lot of work to for the future. Once uh, now that the summer is finished, it's now time to get back to work. Preparation of the budget. I see that all the members of the administration here are all excited uh, at the idea of uh, presenting a new budget. Um, the preparation for 2018, uh, are, uh, we feel that it's going to be difficult. We have to say it because of the uh, assessment freeze by the provincial government. This is going to create uh, nice challenges for the municipality. As a matter of fact, I know that the Francophone Municipalities Association, uh, at their presentation to the provincial government, did uh, present some alternatives, uh, maybe the possibility of using, because they've frozen the assessments, it means that there will not be any other assessments made. So the 2% that is uh, charged on our bill maybe should be uh, sent back to the municipalities. That'll lighten the burden for the municipalities of the province that was um, proposed by the uh, uh, Francophone Municipalities Association is something that I support, that all members of council support. It's important to continue to support our, our associations, our municipal associations who want to work with us. So thank you all and uh, good evening to all.